Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a slightly different video from me. So it's not gonna be a sit down video, it's gonna be a house tour. So this is our first house. John and I bought this together. It's a new build house and we're in South London. And we both absolutely adore the house. However, there is still quite a bit that we want to do. So we moved in around two years ago. Uh, it's two years in August actually and we did start doing quite a bit of work to it. We then got engaged and had to stop doing work and just focus on paying for our wedding. So that really kind of drifted our attention and we had to put all our money into that. So there are definitely still rooms that we need to do. And this is the purpose of the house tour. So it's a, the tour before I kind of continue again to do some of the work that I wanted to do previously. So, all systems are go again on the house and that's because our wedding did have to get cancelled. Um, I have done another video about that so I will link it down below. But without further ado, I wanted to give you a little bit of a tour. So here we go. We're starting off in the kitchen living area slash dining area. So yeah, living room, it's all open plan living. So here we have the kitchen area. So the kitchen area, all our washing up still there. The kitchen area is um, really nice and bright. So it's all white, white worktops um, with the grey cabinet cabinets. We've got kind of grey accessories, grey, blues and browns. It's kind of like the themes um, that we've kind of gone for. It's really minimalistic. We've kind of kept it quite clean. And then we have... Um, I'll zoom back a little bit. Uh, the lounge area. So I love, absolutely love this sofa. It's very comfy. Lots of throw cushions on there. I do actually want to replace the um, these cushion inners with um, a feather so I can give them the chop. If you know what chop pillows are, you'll know exactly the look I'm going for. We then have our absolutely huge TV, which we did want on the wall, but we have been told that we can't get it on the wall because that is a stud wall and the TV is so heavy. They said it would just rip off the wall one day. So yeah, I think we'll give that one a miss. Uh, then we have our bar area. So yeah, we do like our alcohol. We have a, a magnum of Moet on the floor as well um, and actually yeah that spills underneath the cabinet as well um, yeah we're, we're, we're big drinkers let's say we then have our kitchen stools so yeah as you can see it's all a open plan vibe the kitchen stools were from um, French Connection like French Connection home I think it is um, it was they're from quite a while ago so I don't know if they're gonna still stock those but I will See if I can leave a link below. We then have our dining room table. So we've got the bench, obviously one side and the two chairs. So the bench and the table are both from John Lewis. The two chairs are actually old. They're chairs that John had in his like rented house in um, London. So we just bought those with us. And then we've hidden our bin behind the door because it's not something you really want to look at. But yeah, our bin is John Lewis as well. We then have the um, kind of entrance area. So you come straight through the front door into the lounge um, living area. This is very kind of minimalistic again. We've got a mirror there on the wall. We've got a, a, a picture, the, all the prints in the, actually I didn't talk about the prints in the other room but the prints that you'll see in the house most of them are from Decenio. Um, then we've just got a shoe cupboard, not shoe cupboard, a shoe rack. I absolutely hate this. <laughs> this is one of my pet peeves. As you can see here there's not meant to be all these things on the top of it but for now that's kind of how we're styling. This was actually in our in the second bedroom, which I'll show you later, which I've just brought down because we actually had it down when there was guests here. Um, and this is meant to live outside on our um, small little area that we have out the front for a table and chairs. Yep, we've got another really exciting room. It's the small bathroom. 
as you can see here, zero days until our wedding, very sad. Um, it's quite a nice size, we have got a, a bit of storage going on, the shoe rack that's absolutely, not shoe rack, the <laughs> clothing rack that's absolutely covered with coats, um, but yeah, nice size. That takes us up into the first floor. Okay, so we're now on the landing area. So there's a big window, which is one of the favorite things about the house that for both of us actually. And it normally, <laughs> right now you can see there is um, just down here, there's some uh, work going on with the river. So there is a river right there and they're doing some building work. So that is like all safety um, cornered off, let's say. But it's a nice wide hallway. Then it goes into, this is just an airing cupboard, so I won't show you that. We then have the second bedroom. Again, it's a really, really good size. So everything, even though it's a new build, it feels nice and spacious. And that was one of the things that we really, really liked about this house the dimensions and like the heights that well obviously the ceiling height is the ceiling height but the rooms just feel like they're a good size oh I feel out of breath even walking up the stairs so we have got a rail just here which has featured in another video because this is all of the bridesmaids dresses and um, best man like suits um this is actually my dad's suit jacket that needs to be taken back um, to the shop but uh, I do need to move that rail and put it into some kind of storage area but for now it's kind of I don't really want to get the dresses ruined because hopefully at some point we will need them so um, and again actually this room is a work in progress real work in progress you can see most well our entire house is white um, still but I want to do a bit of a renovation video we go there's a mirror um and uh I, I do want to completely kind of try i say transform this room it's not going to be too different the walls are still going to be white but i have seen a picture on pinterest that i absolutely love so i'm going to do another video on that while i kind of revamp this room this used to be my makeup area it has now turned into my working from home area um that is due to everything going on at the minute with the world so I'm having to kind of split my time between or split my desk between working and makeup and stuff like that and try and keep it as tidy as possible which is not that easy for me I'll be honest so then coming back into the landing we then have the main bathroom and I absolutely adore this bathroom I love the tiles you can see they've kind of got a vein through them, they're not marble, but they're just a really nice um, tile. Um, all the lovely things, like a bin and things like that. Uh, and then this tile behind is actually a green color. It looks quite gray on this camera, but that is uh, green. And I, I just, I really like it. It's a nice space. It's wider than you think it is because the bath goes quite far back. Um, and yeah, nice and modern. So, moving back through, this is John's kind of boys snug office. So again, the pictures in here are from Decenio. John actually picked these himself and he hung them on the wall himself, which I initially found quite funny because he spaced them out so far. I was thinking you would just put three pictures quite close together, but no, he's he spaced them out across the walls, which know what is his for him I'll let him help deal with it this is um wallman to tv that kind of moves around and his office area so even before everything happening John was working from home for um at least three days a week so this is why it's his office and he kind of bases himself here he's got a playstation as well um and then a, this is from the old house this I hate this sofa and I don't really feel like it goes with the house at all. And actually, this is a really old Ikea table, but so 
I don't I don't really like the decoration in here but you know what it's I don't have to see it all the time we'll revamp it soon um but this isn't a priority right now so as you can see there is another level so this is a three-story house so in here is a cupboard so I'm not going to show you in the cupboard but this is probably one of the most disappointing rooms for me <laughs> This is our master bedroom. I have to say and be completely honest, we've only just got round to wallpapering that wall and it's taken us absolutely forever to do it. We also said when we first moved in here that our priority would be the living area and then also our master bedroom. And that just hasn't happened. So this is the next um, priority see a little clock on the wall we've got a big tv here this i want to get built-in cupboards so it would go all the way up to the ceiling but then um still have a, a little bit of a platform and a lower section so it's not too imposing as you walk through the door because i think it would cut off too much of the light and i don't really want to do that so we're trying to work up a solution we did get a quote for that and it was something ridiculous like silly silly money then we have two doors. This is another cupboard under the um, under the eaves, I think you call it. Yeah, it's like under the roof section. Again, I'm not going to show you that bit, but we then have our ensuite in here, and it's exactly the same kind of tile um, as before. This lovely smelly thing, which is one of my favourites. Bit of Aesop soap. Can't go wrong. So again, it, actually you can see more of, of the blue, it's, it is still, it's a green tile, but you can't see it on the camera, it now looks blue-grey, but yeah, it's a really nice colour. And it's, it's nice and small, but we use it all the time, really, really like it, we've never had, um, it was important to us that we had an ensuite, so this room also needs a dramatic makeover. I do want to paint the walls so they're not just bright white. Um, the walls I've seen a Farrell and Ball, so that we're going to pick out the lightest colour actually on here. So we're going to pick out this, this is a grey, and I'm going to um, paint the rest of the walls with that grey and get a headboard in this colour and then possibly um, repaint our uh, side tables as the darker shade and these actually john hates these these look like the um ikea ones but they are actually marks and spencers and yeah john absolutely hates them but i i'm a big fan this bedding is horrendous <laughs> this needs to go this is our backup backup bedding actually and then this bed is going to go downstairs and we're going to get a super king in here so this is a actually a king size bed so it is a really big room we've got space either side of our tables just have to be a get, bit careful of that sloping ceiling but we're going to get it a much wider well super king bed so it'll be wider and then the headboard will be a lot higher so i want to do all of that kind of decoration side of things um and that really is is the entire house oh that's mega bright <laughs> That is the entire house um, and the house tour. I feel like I probably whisked through that really, really quick and didn't give you too much detail about where certain things are from. But if you've got any questions, just let me know in the comments below. I really wanted to get this filmed because, as I said, I do really want to start paying more attention to each individual room and doing some makeovers. So I think the first makeover I'm going to do is um, a, a Pinterest... Um, inspired bedroom, um, Pinterest inspired makeover to our second bedroom and at the same time as I'm doing that again I don't ever like to do one thing at a time at the same time I'm doing that I do want to get our bedroom sorted it's it's the room we spend the most time in or second to our living room and we've neglected it this this furniture is so old <sighs> it's really old it's ikea from years and years ago that john had but it's it's fine for now so we'll just work through obviously it's got it takes a lot of money to keep like 
doing up bedrooms and decorating things. So we'll just have to see how the budgeting goes and we'll take it from there. I um, hope you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe to make sure that you keep up to date with any of the renovations that I do in each of the rooms. And if there's anything that you would like to ask, please just drop me a comment below and I will get back to you. And I will see you very soon. Bye.